let me show you another cool Arduino project. This one also has some nice elements of maths and physics. You will find similar projects on the internet, but most of them use the computer screen to display the radar or sonar scan, such as this one. I'm using an LCD for my application. As a sensor I work with the well-known HCSR04. These are really cheap these days. You buy a handful for less than 5 euros. Similar sensors are used in cars to assist with parking. The principle is simple. You send an ultrasonic blip and you measure the time it takes for the echo to arrive. Twice the distance to an object is then the speed of sound times the echo time. For a distance of 1 meter the echo time is about 6 milliseconds. The sensor is professionally mounted with elastic bands as you can see. It sits on a small servo motor that controls rotation. The display is a TFT LCD that stands for Thin Film Transistor Liquid Crystal Display. Now that's a mouthful. This one sits on a shield that fits on top of an Arduino Uno. The problem of the shield is that it covers all the I.O. pins. So I added a screw shield to get access to these pins. Let's see how it works. First we make a 180 degree scan without an object. As you notice, there's no reflection. Now let us introduce a flat plate. That's clearly detected by the sonar system. Now we turn the reflector around a bit. See what happens. No reflection. The laws of physics tell us how waves are deflected. The angle of reflection is the same as the angle of incidence. Here all waves are deflected away from the sensor. This works for all sorts of waves, including radio waves in radar systems. That explains why the early stealth bombers were built with flat surfaces they would deflect most of the radar waves to make them less visible. Now let's turn the reflector the other way. Wow, that creates a huge signature. The explanation is again simple. All waves are reflected back to the receiver, irrespective of the rotation of the reflector. That is because of the 90 degree angle. This simple principle is used in all sorts of reflectors, such as this emergency triangle. Let's try a few other objects. Since the ultrasonic beam is relatively wide, it's no problem to see round objects. Soft objects are more difficult even if they are large. But you can sometimes see them if the angle is right. So how did we develop the code for the Arduino? There is already a good library for the display. Detecting if and where the screen is touched is just a single instruction. The default rotation is a bit odd because you would expect the width and height to be defined the other way around. So be aware, in our case the x direction is vertical, the y direction is horizontal. First we draw circles to mark the target distance. 
To develop the equations for the lines to be drawn, I divided the screen into four sectors. If there is no target, the lines run from the origin to the boundary of the screen. If you've paid attention in your math class, you will recognize equations like these. In this case, the line is drawn from the origin at x coordinate 0, y coordinate height divided by 2, to a boundary point xy, where the x is the display width, and the y coordinate depends on the angle A. If there is a target, things change a little bit. Now we use the distance d that we get from our distance sensor. Again, the xy coordinates of the target line can be expressed as a function of the angle A. Knowing all this, the development of the Arduino code is very easy. I could share it, but it's much more fun to write it yourself. Good luck with your Arduino project.